Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to More Fabrics. Here I am doing the giveaway. I am so thankful. I am so pleased that um, of the outpour of comments. Um, it was so helpful. I really seriously uh, was lost in what direction to go with coffee dyeing such very white papers. So I thank you guys so much. We had 24 people in the comment board um, who entered into this giveaway. Um, today I'm going to be uh, doing the drawing for this giveaway. Um, so before I jump into it, um, for those who are new, um, are new to this channel and not sure what this is, um, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. This is a crafty group. Um, obviously, um, I am a seller here on Etsy, um, and I do a lot of posting and stuff like that here on YouTube, but, um, I try, I'm trying to do things that are outside of my comfort zone and I want to learn and Part of learning is the experience of crafters um, to give you the satisfaction of creating. So I want to learn journaling and I haven't um, really explored too well into it. So I'm new at it. So the last um, YouTube video I did, if you're new here, um, I did um, ask a question, which you can see it um, if you go to my channel. I'll have it pop up at the end of this video too as well, where you can just click on it and see it. Um, I have a book for my November uh, journal you know, project, which I know I'm kind of going backwards here. I should be working on October's, but <clears throat> I came across this idea and I have at least throw it out there, get it started. Um, and then when November hits, my pages will be ready. But I really wanted to know how to create such white pages. I mean, I mean, very white pages um, and to make them look vintage. I really want my, this book to be very, very rugged. So this is going to be the cover I'm going to use. And so I had 24 comments, which I am so grateful because it did give me a lot of helpful advice. And uh, Robin, which thank you, Robin, for she's like one of the first people who commented. She says brush, brush stain on it, which, which she meant by that too was um, I think here Celeste Garner said the same thing. There's a stain uh, by Patty Pockets, which I'm going to link her link um, above. But she has an Etsy shop. I purchased this ink. It's in a jar and you brush your brush in it and you brush it on the pages. So what I'm going to do is take one of my other books that are from Silverstein and I'm going to practice on the pages before I actually practice on the giving tree. Um, so that is one of the ideas I'm going to take that you guys did offer. A lot of you guys like um, who, who said, um, oh my gosh, I want to go over through all the names, but I don't think people want to hear it all, but I will make a shout out to a few here, but most of you guys said coffee dye, put it in the spray bottle, um, brush it on. Um, a few suggestions, which I liked too, was to, like Brenda Frame said, to coffee dye once, let it dry, coffee dye, dye again, and let it just, you know, age to the process that you want kind of thing, which I thought was a great idea. Another great idea was um, to tear the edges before you do it, because then the edges will soak that that um, coffee or tea, however I'm gonna do it, I'm not sure, I'm gonna practice many of these things you guys did suggest, um, that it will absorb it and make those little crinkly edges darker. Um, so yeah, I ran down everything you guys said because when I go through the video in November, I'm gonna point you guys out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout out you guys and say the people who said certain suggestions um, and um, talk about it and tell you what I thought kind of thing. But that is in November. So I'm sure you guys just want the drawing right now. <laughs> Before I do the random number picker, I'm going to ask my dear friend, I'm not going to say her name because um, then she'll start talking the uh, G-O-O-G-L-E um, to do a random number picker for me. Um, and uh, we'll do that here in a minute. But I wanted to show you really quick. I found something really, really cool in my files. Remember I told you guys, I don't know if you guys in the video, I told you guys, but um, the reason why I love The Giving Tree and I love Silverstein, the author, was when I was in Head Start as a child, um, the teacher read this book. And my favorite one was the, uh, the bow constrictor off, off of the book where the sidewalk ends. And um, so I, I remember that and I found <laughs> some pictures. I don't know if you guys can see it here. When I was in Head Start, they do a photo of you. <laughs> And they have these papers, they fingerprint and everything. And um, I figured in the book, when I do the giving tree, I will find a spot for this, but this is me. <laughs> Look at the charms. You guys remember the seventies, the charms. Um, 
but they she took a picture of me um the 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 uh had started and this was when my teacher this is the age i was when the teacher read me this book and it's been an inspiration but i have all these really cool things i figured i can add into this book even included was the head start diploma isn't that crazy um so i figured that would be incorporated into this book however i am not sure i did find a really really cool um the, the book was tied in guys which that was a great thing um, and I found I can do four different signatures and I did these in order of how the book goes. I did not want to create this book and not put it in the order of how the story goes. I want the entire story intact kind of thing. So I figured when I do this journal, I could do four different signatures and I've already separated them. And this is what's cool about a book being tied in, which I'm sure you guys know this already, but I'm all really excited. So I, I got to be able to keep the pages full. Look at it. So when I do cut them down, I just tie them in like that and then put my other pages in between kind of thing. But, um, so yeah, I got, I have them separated by the signatures. So it would be in the order of the story would be in the same order that it should be. Um, so I'm really thrilled about that. That turned out really, really good. So it's going to work out. I can't wait to cut this down, add some other pages to it. And um, I'm definitely going to keep the cover whole as possible. All right, so you guys are really excited about who's going to win the book, The Light in the Attic. So here we go, guys. I actually love, love that book. Okay, so what I'm going to do is there are 24 people who entered into this giveaway. I'm going to ask, you know, who here in a minute to randomly pick me a number between 1 and 24. And she's going to say a number, and it's the person... Um, in order of how you make comments in the comment board there on YouTube, who will be the winner. Hope that makes sense. So, hey Google, randomly pick me a number between 1 and 24. 19. 19. All right. Lucretia Graham, we got you. She said to, uh, she's the winner. Sorry, guys. Number 19. Um, thank you for your comments. She said in the comment board to stencil and brush on coffee um onto my pages so find a stencil get some coffee stencil it on kind of thing that is a great idea i'm going to do that i'm going to try i'm going to practice obviously on a different book pages uh, from the same author um but congratulations to the winner um thank you guys so much for your help as you can tell i'm very very excited i'm nervous this is new to me and i'm just thankful for your guys' advice and and that you guys could be part of the the journey as well so congratulations to the winner I will, I will message you, hon, and uh, send this book right out to you. Um, and the next videos I'm going to be doing, guys, is I should be digging into my Anna Green Gables for this month's journal that I'm going to try to create for October. October, it's my birthday month. So this is going to be a very exciting book that I can't wait to do in October. So look forward to that video, guys. Um, I won't be asking a lot of questions on that one. That one I'll just be creating. I can't wait to show you the piles of stuff that I've collected for the Anna Green Gables. I thank you guys again for taking the time to watch my videos and to comment like you did for that one giveaway. I really appreciate it. Your comments did help me. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. It is Saturday here. I'm going to run right out and visit my friend uh, Kathy, Kathy Kawa. She's one of the people who commented on here. She's the one who also suggested the uh, by Patty Pockets, that ink that's in a jar. Once I get that, I'll do a video on it, guys, and test it out kind of thing. But she's not feeling good today, so I'm going to run on over there and send, you know, give her some um, soup. And I have a bunch of goodies that, of course, who doesn't like a box full of junk? So she could pick through some things and hopefully that will cheer her up. So big hugs to Kathy, my friend, and to you guys for taking the time to watch this video and help me out. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.